Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I just want to correct the record here. Senator Tuberville has been given multiple off-ramps. He was offered a vote on Senator Ernst's bill, which was far, uh, uh, much more overall encompassing. He has been given lots of opportunities, and he's simply refusing to lift a hold. For the first time in over 100 years, we do not have a commandant of the Marine Corps. Someone who can have the full power and authority of a, of a commandant. Uh, this is absolutely unacceptable. We have all of these officers and their families. My colleagues talk about and laud the family members for, for their service. We have family members who are being pulled out of schools, unable to start a new school term. We have spouses who cannot start a new job, who've lost their jobs. The entire military readiness is slowly grinding to a halt, and it is going to get worse every single day because Senator Tuberville has injected politics into this. And let me make it clear. DOD statute is very clear. The DOD cannot fund abortions, and the DOD is not funding abortions. The DOD is simply providing the ability for service members to travel to a different state from the one to, in which they are uh, assigned in order to receive reproductive health care. The DOD is not paying for those abortions. They're simply saying if you cannot get the reproductive health care you need, whether that is an abortion or IVF or an IUD or whatever that is, then you should be able to travel someplace for that. And you know who gets hurt the most on this? Our lowest ranking it is the youngest women in the military. It is the spouses of the youngest men in the military who have to ask for a pass from their sergeants to leave their duty station so that they can go take care of their health care needs. And what we are telling them, what Senator Tuberville is telling them is, I don't care about you. Thank you for your service, but you cannot take care of your own health care or your spouse's health care. And to simply put this as this is a political thing and this is about uh, um, the military providing abortion is absolutely categorically untrue because the military is not providing abortions in this instance. Now, let me also be clear that uh, our men and women in uniform face so many hardships, they should be able to take care of themselves and their family members. Bottom line, and, and if there's anybody that's injecting politics into this, it's Senator Tuberville, who is fundraising, he's fundraising off of his hold on the military leadership that is affecting the national security of this country. If he truly cared about this, he wouldn't be fundraising off of it. That is my rant.